Last week, we installed gutters on the kitchen roof and laid the piping for our rain harvesting system. Stay tuned as we continue on the kitchen and bathroom additions to the main house. We don't get a lot of rain here in the desert, so normally you put the gutters on after the roofing material has been put on. Uh, we're in the rainy season right now, so in this case, rain was coming real quick like, so we went ahead and put our gutters up first. Get up our rain drip, flashing on. I have I just pulled out the my... llama in my back pocket. Yes, back pocket llama. Don't yes. you have one? Everyone have back pocket llama. Back pocket llama. But you have to say it in this accent, whatever this accent is. Somewhere between yeah, French yeah. and something ah, else. That's a good one. What? <gasps> oh, oh, did you get your finger? Let's see, bro. Go and go fix it. Telling me to be cautious. I don't want you bleeding on my roof. All right, I'll go take care of wound. <laughs> I'll go take care of wound. I'll take over your job. Can't do his job. I can do his job. This is he does all the metal work. And then he's laying it flat and measuring. Oh. Hurry back, but I can't do your job. Plan is then throw some tar paper down. I do need to get the curbs on first for the skylights. When putting in the skylights, I first kind of work with this whole frame idea. And once I have the frames built, cut out the holes and so that they'll fit right inside the holes. Yeah, we should put some more nails around it. Not quite enough. Oh, it comes up like that. Oh, I thought it was going to drop in. They're all sized down just a little bit smaller than the skylight themselves, so the skylight can fit over the top of them. Once I have them all secured and nailed down, then I'm ready for the next step. Other than thumb almost falling off, no drama. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, I did a beautiful job. Don't check my work. Hey Gisbert, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? Are you taking a hole? You might get buried unexpectedly. You'll figure it out. <laughs> Good boy, Gizzy. So we decided to go with shingles for the roof, mostly because we wanted to match the same as this. We're just popping a few of them out so that we can slip our paper from this one underneath this ledge here. Like yeah. we put that roof on yesterday kind of thing, you know? Okay. I feel like I'm in a boat. I feel like I'm coming out of a porthole. Plus, this roof that's on this one is already, I mean, gosh, it's got another like 10 years on it or so. Doesn't All right, now we staple it down. Staple it, it's up here. Plus, it'll make the seam here a lot easier to do. Okay, guys, listen to me real quick, like, so I'm a bit hurt. Right where that is setting there, I'm gonna be poking nails up. Okay, don't step on them. You will get an alley. So no pump. marathons on the roof then? No marathon jumping in and dancing oh, in that fine. spot right over there. No raves. I guess I'll call the rental company and tell them we don't want that boom box. <laughs> nope. Later on, when we go to replace this roof, we're gonna replace the whole thing with metal. Mostly because it's good for rain catchment. And we just got that beautiful rain catchment system installed. But for just kind of a get me vibe, <laughs> we're gonna use the shingles. Normally for a roof that you use the shingles for, the typical little asphalt shingles, you would just put a two by four curb up there to put the skylights on. And in this case, I use two by six because in the future, I want to be able to take that roof off and put a metal roofing on, which requires a, a deeper curb. I, I found a potential problem with my thumb, but it's been overlooked now. It does work. Some of those band-aids aren't so bad. They were technologically ahead of their time. Apparently, I'm okay with it now. I was a little worried that it won't work with my phone and then I, contemplate taking it off so it, you know I could use my finger but, mm -hmm. yeah. I understand priorities yeah priorities are priorities she might be able to yeah we're watching okay for the first one here make a quick little mark down there we, we all put this first row upside down and the reason we do this is because the next one that goes on goes over the top of it so that we cover this area. Okay guys, and then this, this gap right here is uh, should be pretty much the same as those gaps. So this goes to the bottom of this, and that, that little section there tells you where that starts and stops. This little black strip, so it's kind of like engineered to glue to itself. I'll keep you going in shingles. Don't look at me, Mom. 
Okay, I won't. Ooh, that looks good. You need to look away, Dad. That looks great. That looks really good. I don't need to look away. Let's give you some praise. That's awesome. With. We're creating now the little walls that go on the inside of the shower. I'm using this um, composite wood, they're synthetic, and they, they're gonna hold up really well with water and that kind of a deal, so I thought I'd use those. And then I'll be using these metal framing on the inside. We requested some ideas on how to put the walls in on this shower That's idea, it. and you responded. Lots of comments on how to do these walls, and I've kind of taken some combination of different ideas and thoughts, and I'm putting it to use. Thanks. Somebody wanted to know how we handle conflict resolution in our family. Oh, that's a tough My best friend, she was just telling her brother all about how we fight, and I thought it was funny because I've never seen anybody excitedly tell someone else about how a family fights. It's actually through humor. So, jokes, sarcasm. Hi, guys. How's hey, it going? Three. What? I know, I'm sorry. I kept waiting for the bangity bang bangs. I was what like, oh, bang when they bang. start banging, I'm gonna get up. We, we just really, we really wanted you to get your beauty rest. We were concerned that you, you wouldn't have a good day, so we thought we'd just go ahead and get the work done without you. Jokes that aren't really jokes, and then the other person knows that you were upset, so then they joke back. Is that, is that so? Well, I appreciate that. It's very, uh, that's accommodating was, of you. All I gotta say is, if anybody has any problems, like anything at all, even if it's small, we always just talk about it. We're oh, very seriously? open about it. I have like a whole set of You have a whole set? Oh my god! Small stuff can turn into big stuff. So we find that if we're just open and honest about things, it stops a lot of the issues before they start happening, I think, too. But joking big time. Big jokers. Our fights are usually just one big joke. <laughs> we do have big blow-ups that do happen, but they're very rare, and they do end up resolving themselves easily. Well, always. I've ever, I mean, I don't know <laughs> for the future Actually, ones, but so far, so good. <laughs> we just scream at each other, cool off, come back, and we're good. <laughs> Maybe the poor hole will be in this area somewhere. Like, probably eyeball height here, I suppose. From the outside. Need to clip those things on. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's waking. It's waking. Now I make another one just like it. All right there's another one. Look, mom, what I made. Here's our little bunny. We put the little bunny in here so that she would get a little bigger because we've got a problem with our favorite cat. Bryson, we think she's big enough to survive the oh, cat. Yeah. You gonna be okay if I let you go? Huh? And look at her, she's white. Isn't this just fun? Stay alive and have lots of babies. She's like, whoa. Whoa, look how white she is. That's the male, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> yep. That's the male, as we politely turn away. Hi. Just notch it so one will fit right in there, okay? So this, there'll be a row of these. We'll start on the outside like this. And just lap two more on here. So then we run another row on top like that. Like that. And then our next one is gonna go on like this. I believe this is what Dad wanted. Nothing else. It's good enough that it's not gonna leak, so that's what matters. Here's where we have a, another instance of a fail. 
you know, I know I was preparing for the future in a, in a taller roof, but that just looks wrong and I got to take it off and cut it down. I'll take a couple inches off of it and then just drop it down to a normal height for a uh, three tab shingle roof. We'll fix that. I can fix that in the future, but you know, from up there, it didn't look ugly. I thought, oh, it kind of looks kind of cool. But now I look at it now I go, I just can't stomach that. That's just wrong. Thanks to Lawrence of New York City for the suggestion to talk about conflict resolution. The window in there, cut this to fit those squares that I created over there. We appreciate all your helpful comments about the shower walls and why we definitely need them. We'll continue working on that next week. Don't worry, Garen and Ellie haven't ridden off into the sunset. Ooh, this looks really good. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> we'll keep you updated on their marriage and future earth bag building plans. Thank you again for being a part of the My Little Homestead family. Have a great week and we'll see you next Friday. Bye! Thank you! I don't even know how that thing like that could ever <laughs> occur, do you? Uh, well, I don't know. I just wish you luck. Oh no. Oh, oh, it moved a little bit. Okay. We're just keep somewhere. putting nails in it until it works. Still a little bit warbly, but you did good. <laughs> Gary, don't scare me. Oh, that scared me too. <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. So you can't really bend your thumb, so it becomes really annoying. These are the worst invention ever. They're the aw they're awesome invention. <laughs> it's a manhole. We decided we want to put these in the kitchen. We can put ladders on them and stuff. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. We'll cut those out now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>